We ha ha, Michael. It's um, Tin Mountain Conservation Center's weekly lineup for the summer. And for this week of July 3rd, what's happening? This is July 4th Eve, is it not? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. There's a lot going on. There's always something going on. There's a lot That's going cool. on behind you, too. It is. This is Christine Polachnik's, uh mural, volunteer. She volunteered many, many hours. It's a mm. beautiful mural, and it's where we're going to display many of our mounts with a key so people can come downstairs and look around and say, what's that animal? Look at your car and go, oh, I think it must be blah, blah, blah. So that's the idea. So that'll be fun. Look at this We're all around you. And she did such a great job. If you come down, it's a picture of the pond looking uh, north up towards uh, the, the north end of the pond. And if we had room, she would have put South Moat, which we see from down that area. Oh, so cool. Yeah, no, it's been a great job. So yeah. we're excited about that. The trout are back. Yes. Tony Andriano has got brook trout in our aquarium. So the basement is full of neat things. That's right. And up at Wildcat on Tuesdays and Wednesdays in July and August, cool things are going on as well because Nora Duflo from our staff is up there leading a program every morning from uh, 10 a.m. to noon. Nice. You know, it might be a gondola ride up to the top, do a little alpine stuff or maybe out to the pond mm -hmm. or up to the falls. Oh, cool. The falls. Yeah. So, that's a good thing, but things coming up this week, or soon, July 10th, that's a Tuesday. Carol Felice will be here, and she's going to talk about uh, wild plants and how we can use them. Crafting wild medicinals. It's a workshop, 2 to 5 p.m., Tuesday afternoon, July 10th. So come to that, that'll be good. Um, Eagle form. Yes. The five, in two days after the after Carol's here, Ecoform on watershed management, uh, looking at uh, things that are being done in the southern part of the county. Awesome, that's uh, right. Really good, lots of pizza from the Flatbread Pizza Company, a flatbread mm -hmm. company, North Conway, Frontside Grind, lots of coffee, and the Rock House Baker will oh, bring yeah. some good, good cookies. That's cool. Uh, and yes, Pam Hunt, Dr. Pam Hunt, she's always a hoot. So, uh, July 19th, 9 to noon, everybody likes dragonflies and damselflies. So, uh, Pam will be here. She's, as far as I know, she's the best expert we have in the area, probably the whole Northeast. She knows her dragonflies, does a great job. She works for New Hampshire Audubon and does a lot of work for the New Hampshire Fishing Team. She's been here before, so come and see uh, Pam. And don't forget, coming up very close. Yes. Right after this weekend, I believe. The next weekend, July 14th. Yes. The Big Century Ride. The big deal. Miss Susan Bean, this is her. We'll not be riding it. <laughs> she'll not be riding it, but she'll be, she'll be shepherding it. I'll be eating the food of the bounty provided for all the uh, calories yes. we put back on so, by the riders. You know, if you've been doing some riding, you can tune up in two weeks. Oh, yeah. You have to do a ride like this. Yeah, this is 40, yeah. 80, or 100 miles. I have to say, fun. I mean, this this along with the first season, along with the um, Mount Washington Auto Bicycle Hill Climb, are big fundraisers such that we're allowed to be back in the schools and providing scholarships for campers for Nature Camp all summer. There's a lot of good that comes During from these cycling interns, events. These interns and oh, yeah. projects, we yeah. reach a lot of people doing these fundraisers. Good no, morning. That's cool. That's wonderful. That's a Huge next couple of weeks. Thanks so no much. And uh, come and visit. There's always something going on. Camps going on. There is Tin Mountain. There's always something going on. We'll see you next week. Yeah.